Hello world, Justin Tucker here, moving forward with the Drupal 7 convention and membership tutorial series. In this video, I think we're going to go over the managed displays a little bit more. What I have done, just because it was so boring to do and would be terrible for you to watch. Um, in an earlier video under the speaker, I actually did something that caused this event display to appear. So we have default and teaser that actually occurs on every content type and I did something extra to add event display. What I did is I came down here to custom display settings, clicked on manage view modes, and clicked add view mode. When I did, I got a screen like this, told it to attach to mo or node, and told it to be event display, and then it adds it to the list. Uh, once it does that, it then causes it to be available as a checkbox I can choose here. And what I've already done on each content type we have in the system, is I have gone in there and you'll see that there's an event display now um, for each one. And again that was achieved by going into each area and choosing custom display settings event display. And so now I've got this display that I can use just for the purpose of the idea of how things get laid out on our uh, registration event page. So right now it's uh, still incredibly ugly. It needs to be cleaned up to be more usable. Um, I was kind of playing around with some meal option things here and we can go ahead and continue to go into that. Before we get into, so now that we've got this event display, okay, on our on each content type, we now have an exercise of, uh, oh that's the other thing I did is I added Sutro, which is a display type that has a header, footer, right and left. Double Sutro is the same with more and each one of these represents a different look. So I've gone into each one of them. Each one of our content types under the Manage Display has Sutro layout enabled for their event display type. Okay. And just to be clear what this is doing when I say header, footer, sidebar here, uh, that is not for the site. Um, that is actually found under blocks, demonstrate block regions. So this is what the template regions are. This region right here and any, any region within this drop down that produces this, just pretend all these areas right here are only available in this content area. So that's kind of how Display Suite is working, is it is a way to manage the layout of just the content, not necessarily the sidebars or the footers. So there's a little semantic overlap when we say footer here, just wanted to make that distinction. So I'm not going to save any of this, just kind of wanted to uh, catch you up on all the pre-baked things. So uh, again, went to the content types, went into all the managed displays, added a new display type of event display, this is what I named it and told each one of those to have a layout of Sutro, which is the display suite layout name. Um, what I need to do now is go into my view of all content per registration event and kind of tell each one of these um, that's applicable, like the photo galleries for example. Actually photo galleries we can probably leave alone. Uh, meals per event will probably say yeah content uh, use the event display like we have going there. Shirts per event. We will come into content. That's correct. Full content is not. We want it to be this event display. Um, another way you can get there is to say rendered entity. And it should give you the exact same effect. but for consistency we'll leave it at content event display. And I'm just unchecking links just to make sure everything's 100% controlled by uh, what I do in my manage display area on the content types. Uh, the registration options, again I don't know what the event display for them will look like but I know that we'll use it. And this probably isn't necessary. We could probably use the teaser display type, but I figured this would be a good lesson in how this works. Plus, in my mind, this keeps the platform 
a bit more flexible because we still have the default or the full content uh, calendar we don't want to mess with because the calendar entities that's fine the event list we, we're fine there too but going this route where we can say hey use the event display we still have a default display let me just go back there we still have a default display for when we're on the actual page if that scenario presents itself we also have a display now dedicated to the idea of only being on our event page and how that looks and how that displays and then we have yet another idea of you know maybe we're going to display this piece of content somewhere else in the site in what we're going to call a teaser format or summary format to try and invoke the user to click it so we have this one form with all these fields that can be displayed in these three different ways and I think that's pretty flexible in the future even if we don't use these today so that's why every single content type got one of these um, even though um, on some we're not going to use it so now that we have all that prep work done we can start the fun and grueling task of going into the manage display of each item going into the event display and kind of trying to figure out how we want this to look now again some of these content types isn't isn't going to apply like event and Photoshop or I'm sorry photo gallery um, is going to be controlled through a view and bringing in only the image field for example you could do some techniques in here in the display settings to kind of control how you do that okay I'm not saying you can't uh, but I think on the on the photo gallery and on the event we'll do it a different way on most the rest it will probably be some manipulation of the event display setting or a event display display type so for example on vendor here we'll just go ahead and kinda of jump into this um, let's say image first column let's tell that image again not to be the original it'll be huge let's say 300 by 300 we'll link it to the content um, the address we will say we'll go in the second column the URL second column the body will say the footer contact number second column uh, vendor type may be disabled and then kinda where do you want the label to be so on the image we don't want a label on the URL it's implied on the address don't need one at all uh, same with contact number and we'll put the title in the header all right so that should give us an image on the left other stuff on the right description below title on top now I've got a few other views I need to go in to tell to show the event display and that is for vendor speaker and sponsor so if we go to our main event we're working with and dive into any one of these views here again I can get to this view from here or by going to structure views and finding it in the list uh, this is more convenient because it can dive you right into it so here's the speaker sponsors vendors I had another video where I kind of did it another way and I initially thought the queries were longer then later I found the queries might kind of be the same in terms of time anyway I thought these were cleaner uh, SQL queries and that's why we're using these so really I kind of need to come in here and say instead of show fields and we can go ahead and leave this as all displays actually because in this case I would like for all of them to update without having to go into each one I'm going to say event display and let's see uh, we were changing the vendor let's see what we get is that the right oh 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 no that's not correct <laughs> okay so in these guys because I changed how the query works I actually need to bring in a field so let me not save any of that instead where these uh, this this is a good example where these de declarations need to be made so instead of going here to content and choosing event display I need to go into the field because again how this view is set up is I'm asking for the value of the field of the content we're on to echo as the result 
So I need to go into the field and actually tell the field, okay, show your full self using the event display. That's the thing we were, I was missing. And I'll actually need to do this to each one because it's all, uh, they're each different fields. And then on my vendor here, once I do this, I should see a different layout. And there we go. Image on the left, information on the right. Didn't fill out the address, don't have the other information. That is probably going to be a huge thumbnail. So real quick, before I conclude this video, I'm going to make an adjustment on that. I'm going to go to configuration, image styles. I think in another video I called these image presets. That's an older term. They're image styles. And I'm going to add another one called 150 by 150. So we're just going to make a smaller version of a thumbnail. I'm going to say scale and crop. Add that. wrong view, speakers, vendors, here we go. So that should still be the 300. If I go now into the content type, because remember we're just, you know, what, what the view is listening to, even in this case, even though it's not told to show content, in this case it's told to show a field, one of the fields references content, we can tell this field to display itself however we want. So I need to tell this event display to not use the image preset of 300 by 300, but the one by uh, 150 by 150. So I should get a much smaller box. So let me go into vendor, manage display, event display, and the image field here I will tell to inherit the image style of 150 by 150. And make sure you hit save at the bottom. It's a, it's a common mistake to engage in this area over here. You hit update and you think you're done. You have to go to the bottom and hit save. And now that we have that, if I hit update, we get a smaller thumbnail, and that's correct. And if I, oh, I don't have to save that, that was just echoing what was already there. And so now if we go back to our registration event under the vendors, here we have the layout. And you can see how it inherited the layout of these other things. Lots of more cleanup is now needed, but that is actually correct. We wanted the image on the left, the information on the right, and maybe before it's all said and done, we're going to have, you know, a, obviously a separate place just for vendors where they can stack and uh, that information can go. Yeah, we don't really have another vendor in there. So I'll leave the video off uh, right there for now. Again, primarily what we did was add a new display type to the Manage Display tab of every content type called Event Display. We have got um, a good variety of how that is being used on the views that use the events and uh, photo galleries, for example they're kind of being controlled by the view itself and how they display. Um, the speaker sponsors and vendors all have a view but the display is being managed through a field in the view and the rest of these are being told to show the content version of themselves using the display type of event display. So it's a good variety of different lessons on how to achieve that, on how to utilize the managed display settings and move fields around. So in the next video I think we're going to continue on with actually getting into each one of these content types and coming up with an, an event display that we'll start with. Uh, it's usually the case that, you know, once you start moving things around and getting stuff on your registration page or on a page that you're kind of, you know, have this back and forth dance of, is this what I want? Is this what I need? Uh, maybe let's change this here, move this here, stuff like that. So natural adjustments, but We'll kind of start with some ideas of placement. Uh, again, event is not a good example here because it's being handled differently. But uh, the hotels and lodging, the meals, the registration products, you know, um, I'm thinking right now just a standard link 
that opens in a new page uh, might be good for um, that content type just because there's a lot of fields the user has to fill, fill out and so being on a dedicated page to address those fields may be a good way to go so we'll look at that uh, anyway if you guys uh, are enjoying these videos please consider subscribing it lets me know to make more and uh, feedback thoughts and comments are always welcomed and I will conclude that video here and see you on the next one bye bye